Ah, of course. Some boiling water should do the trick. What? What? I, I'm just trying my hardest to make sense of this. How does any of this make any sense? No moi, it's joining, and welcome to Troom Troom for Boomers, or better known as Kaboom. <laughs> There's another one. There's always another one, and it makes perfect sense, to be honest, because have a look. Here we have a Troom Troom copycat channel. They started three months ago. The channel only showed up first time on YouTube for eh, 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 June 2020. And they already have a kaboomin, 52 million views. I'm telling you guys, these Troom Troom esque channels, this is life hacks for YouTube. If you want to make absolute kajillions, just make questionable content with brightly colored thumbnails about bizarre pandemic worms scenarios. Today we're gonna to be getting to the bottom of Kaboom! And we're gonna be seeing what the big Kaboom is all about. We'll check out their most recent video, Hot vs. Cold, which is another topic entirely. What is with all of this hot vs. cold, boy vs. girl, blue vs. red? And why do they do so well? What is the point of them? Why are kids so interested? What does it even mean? The thumbnail is like a girl on fire and a girl in an ice block. What on earth could this video even include. Hi guys! Do you like it hot? Or do you like it cold? Ah. <laughs> the energy! <laughs> There's so much going on. Do I like it hot? Or do I like it cold? Meanwhile, I can't- I'm getting dizzy. Hi guys! Oh my gosh, they go to 4K? This is the high quality stuff. Kaboom, you have outdone yourself. I'm just gonna stick with a casual 1080p, but good job. Giving the people what they want. People need their 4K trim trim content. Anyway, back to the Katy Perry music video. Here's the hot versus cold challenge. Being a fire girl means- Okay, I was hoping they were gonna say this. When we found this channel, I just have to show you something. <laughs> We just quickly checked out one of the videos on the stream here at twitch.tv forward slash join him, but on Twitch, where you can come and we do this live. But we just clicked onto this video and watched the first like 20 seconds and listen to this. Rise and shine, Kaboomers. <laughs> Kaboomers. They call their audience the Kaboomers. Some group of people sat around a table and thought, look, every YouTube channel, they need a name for their audience. And someone had the idea to call their audience Kaboomers. Okay, Boomers. <laughs> anyway, back to hot and cold. Everything around you is very warm. You have your four warm blankets, a warm fireplace, even if only on your laptop, and of course, a hot water bottle. Oh my goodness, this is like the most chaotic voiceover out of any of these channels I've ever found. I thought the Troom Troom voiceover lady had energy. Nothing compared to this one. <laughs> Be careful where you put that thing. What is this change of temperature? Some of us just- Did they just have a laugh track at that moment? Like, why even have the laugh track? And why there? What is funny about this scenario? We have the cold girl, we have Elsa Ice Queen sitting here and she's all fuming. She's cold fuming that there's a hot water bottle that's on fire? I, am I getting old? Or does none of this make any sense? Thought this video was for old people. Some of us just can't handle any heat. Like Ice Girl, the fire girl's sister. If she isn't cold, she is just angry. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out the uh, the kaboom law here. We have the fire girl and the ice girl and they're, they're sisters. And the ice girl is angry if she's not cold, which is a bit weird because I always kind of thought that like, if you're someone who likes it cold, that's because you like to feel a, a casual temperature. Not because you like to be cold, but because you just require a colder temperature to feel normal. Whereas this ice girl like, actually wants to be cold. Reading from the tales of ice and fire? Look what I've got. A refreshing Coke. Do, wait, do, wait, did the tales of ice and fire? Was she reading Game of Thrones? A side note, when I said, what would this video even contain? I never would have guessed this. This is past the realm of absurdity. Troom Troom, it's like, whoa, that, this is weird. It's like, is this even real life? Like, you guys are acting a little strange. 
This one is just like... It's just so chaotic. You can't make sense of anything. I got one for you. Let's enjoy. What is going on? Hot versus cold challenge. Girl on fire versus icy girl. Funny situations by Kaboom. The funniest situation when you just sit back and pour a Coke with your sis. Your si sis. Ta, ta. Your sister. Why the sound effects from a 90s cartoon? I don't know. I haven't made any sense of this universe. It took me a long time to get to the bottom of Troom Troom and start to understand where they're coming from. This is on an entirely different level. Cheers. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, dang. They're like, they got like fantasy superpowers. Wait, she sneezes into a Coke and the Coke lights on fire. This one, I can I can get it. You could have some little cold s sneezlings that come out and freeze your Coke. But in what realm can your Coke light on fire? I think they're drinking gasoline. Fire girl made her Coke boiling hot while ice girl's Coke is frozen over. It's frozen to stone. All right, well, it's frozen to ice. Uh, side note, I thought they liked these temperatures. Why are they like freaking out? Why is she all like, oh, ah, it's hot. And why is she like, oh, oh, it's cold. When that's kind of the whole point of your character here. You have like one defining feature and then it's that you are into those temperatures. Wait, girl, let's swap glasses. Good idea. Three, two, one, achoo. Finally. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, this makes sense. I completely understand everything that's happening now. Her drink was too hot. The other drink was too cold. Sneeze in it. You know, very COVID safe, but they're sisters, I guess. Sneeze in it. Swap it back. Perfect temperature Coke. This is a life hack that like anyone can learn from, really. Can't start a day without a little workout. But wait, I'll get hot and hot means smelly. Unless... Of course. This is an important piece of Kaboom lore here. The cold sister only likes to be cold because she doesn't want to be smelly. It's not that she has any preference. It's that she has a preference against being smelly. That's going to hurt. First of all, that's not real ice, but let's just pretend. Second of all, that's not how ice works. You can't just put ice on the ground, stand above it and be super cool. And here comes the fire girl. Just like Ice Girl, she loves yoga. Hot yoga, that's a real thing. Good thing for her that hot yoga is a real thing. Are the sound effects supposed to be funny? I think they're supposed to keep our attention. There's just like so much happening that you can't help, like you, you just can't look away. It's so chilly in here. I've got just the thing. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> That's always the solution to any problem, really. I've got just the thing. Coal! Is she gonna get the coals burning? Is she gonna get them, like, red hot? Let's lay some on my mat and set it on fire. <laughs> yeah, great idea. <laughs> Let's lay some coal on my mat and set it on fire so that I can stand over it and do some yoga. There you go. Extra heat melts fat like a charm. Oh, my gosh. This is bizarre. This is beyond... Any Troom Troom five minute crafts, like anything that they could come up with. This is just in the realm of like children's television. We're trying to keep the attention of like, I feel like four year olds at this point. The target demographic just keeps plummeting. It's movie time and Brandon's hoping for some Netflix. I hope you sneaked your snacks in. Side note, can I just say like, I feel like they actually have a pretty decently high budget for these. Like there's, there's money behind this. I don't know who Kaboom is. It has to be connected with some other channel or there, ha there has to be some funding here because look at this. Like they've got like their little set here. I know that th this is just like four chairs and you know, a drape. They got all these props and stuff. They're putting money into this. It makes you think that Kaboom must be connected to some other channels. Little does he know her heart is cold as ice. Oh, dang. He's going in for it. He's going for the twilight moment. She got a cold heart though, dude. She's going to give you an ice burn. When she asked you to go watch that movie with her, she actually just wanted to see the movie. She just didn't want to go alone. She just actually really wanted to see Frozen. She wasn't there for you to make some cute little hand move on her. That's for sure. Are you <laughs> what? 
Laugh tracks are supposed to be put in to tell the audience that they need a laugh. I think in one of my very first YouTube videos, I said that the YouTube laugh track already exists. You don't put in laugh tracks in YouTube videos, okay? They just, they, it doesn't work. <laughs> The YouTube laugh track is a pause in the music. You have the background music happening. Yeah, let, let me let me do let me do it for you. All right, you ready for this? We're about to do some uh, YouTube laugh track action. Just for me to just for me to uh, illustrate my point. All right, I have found a funny joke. What's the best thing about Switzerland? I don't know, but the flag is a big plus. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Deanna the cool for, for laughing. There we go. There we go. See, it worked. Everyone thinks it's hilarious because I did the YouTube version of a laugh track, which is pause the music for the punchline. You don't have to add in the real laugh track. It doesn't make it funny. You add in a real laugh track and everyone's like, did I just hear a laugh track? It's distracting because we've been conditioned. <laughs> exactly. It's a, you don't notice it, but this is what's going on here. It's the mind games. It's the mind games of the, of the YouTube and the, and the editors. I will just side went to laugh. But this means that bag of popcorn is mine. Take some napkins. You'll need them for later. <laughs> She's dangerous. What, she could be used as like a military weapon. She can just freeze people. This is too much power for one person to have. This is a matter of national security. Think about this. She could just walk into a bank. She is a weapon. And the other one, she can just light things on fire. Drennan, please, what is happening? I'm scared. Don't worry. I will be your guide through this scary video. All is well, for I am here. It is my job to digest this for you <laughs> into a way that you might understand. Oh, she literally chilled him. That Netflix and chill. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow, dude. Like, this is all connected when you really think about it. Like, I actually think Berm is pretty deep. You guys just don't understand. Like, sure, on the surface level, it just seems like it's like kids content, but really when you think about it, Kaboom is like next level. It really teaches you about life. But also, they have like these really deep like double meanings and stuff with Netflix and chill because she's chilly and now he's chilly. And they're, they're like, they're watching stuff. And he wanted to Netflix and chill and she's like, nah, dude, chill. Really makes you think. <laughs> What's going on? No, don't touch me, bitch. Oh my God. Did what, what did what did he just call you, young man? What's your language? <laughs> I sure hope that word started with a W. He bounced. Well, think about it. She's terrifying. Imagine being on a date with some lady. You're gonna go watch Frozen Two. You're so keen to watch this movie, and you're thinking this whole time it's like, yeah, I think she's pretty into me. I'm gonna go for the hand move. I'm gonna put my hand on her hand, and then she literally freezes you still. You cannot move. You're like this. It's literally snowing on top of you. Scary stuff. You're gonna run. Trying for number two with girl. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> I was backing you up. <laughs> Do you guys see what just happened? He went to a movie with a chick. He thought she was a little bit scary. And so he backed out of it. And then he's like, I'll try with your sister. I, I got bad news for you, dude. This one's not gonna turn out well for you either. Hey, why don't I? Whoops, don't mind me. Oh, I know what's going on. Oh, she leaned forward. She's ready for it. She's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm down. I'm ready for, I'm down. And... This is sad. This has just made me sad. She can't ever just like hug someone. She can't shake a hand. That's kind of sad. Wait, how can the sisters suck? The sisters, I think they're all right because the sister is like chilly and she can freeze things. The fire girl is all fiery. I think it cancels out. They can hug. Yeah, a bit of a bit of a lonely life. Other than your sister, she can't just, you know, hug a friend. A world with no hugs. Can we get F, F in the chat, boys? F's in the chat. Thank you. Thank you for the respect. Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't worry, there's plenty of fiery- No, she was upset. Just before that smile, she sat back in the chair and she's like, always, this always happens to me. I'm, you know, I was into this guy. He wanted to just put his arm around me. This is innocent stuff, but I burn everyone I touch. She's putting on a brave face about it because you gotta, like, what else are you gonna do? But my heart, my heart goes out to you, fire girl. It's breakfast time. And what's better for breakfast than some fried eggs? Dang. Were we gonna answer that question or was it rhetorical? I don't mind an egg, but there's gotta be a couple things better for breakfast. Like if we're talking the ultimate breakfast. 
Switch. Just use your hand. I know this one. You just pick it up. You got those hot flame powers, baby. Fry your own egg. Put some olive oil in your hand and then just... Right, why not? Then you... Done. Easy. Which on, you? Better yet, boiled egg. Just hold the egg when it's in the shell, then crack it open. Ah, uh, no worries. I can do it my own way. Why was she even trying? That, like, why... If she's had this ability her entire life, why was she even trying to fry that egg on a stovetop? That's bizarre. Perfect. Who needs electricity when you're hot enough? I love that. I'm gonna use that. Who needs electricity when you're hot enough? What a pickup line. Also, my stove doesn't even use electricity. Really. Who needs electricity when you've got gas? <laughs> Here comes Ice Girl with her own ideas of a perfect breakfast. Eggs good, but a fruit salad is better. I need to be careful about what I eat. I, huh? Eggs are good, but I think a fruit salad's better. I need to watch what I eat. Wait, you can't eat an egg? What do you mean? I'm not following. Eggs are pretty dang good for you. Frozen fruit is the best until you get braces and then can't chew anything. <laughs> I got bad news for her. She's got braces. <laughs> if she needs to watch what she eats, then maybe she should be eating the egg. Oopsie. It looks like my whole fruit salad got frozen. Oh well, I guess if all else fails, Brute force will do the trick. I don't, I, I don't understand what their preferences are. I thought that the icy lady only wanted icy things, but then sometimes she doesn't. Sometimes she wants normal temperature things. I don't quite understand how all of this works yet. Just a little bit of tapping, and the strawberry's good to eat. Each of us has their own favorite breakfast. What's yours? Oh. Oh, uh, I don't know. I've never really thought about it. Um... Frozen eggs. Frozen eggs are pretty good. It's bath time. <sighs> ah, of course. Some boiling water should do the trick. What? What? I, I'm i just trying my hardest to make sense of this. How does any of this make any sense? You're hot, like everything you touch is burns, but you need to boil, put a kettle on to warm up your bath water? I don't get it. Okay. There you go. I guess a hundred degrees will be just about right. Just about right? What, she bathes in literal boiling water? I guess that makes sense. She can, like, touch fire and stuff. Ah, uh, yes. Let's boil our problems away. <laughs> Ice bath, baby. Oh, no. It's still a bit warm. Ah, right. My trusty ice. They must have like a walk-in freezer for how much ice she keeps. Imagine doing the trays for all of those. That would take so long. Hey, hey buddy. What's the deal? How you been? Where you been? What have you been doing? What have you been up to? Any projects? You're sitting on my mouse. All right. Okay. 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 <laughs> what happened to Soot? Nothing happened to Soot. <laughs> Oh, yes. Freeze me. Chill me to the bone. Ice Girl just loves ice and everything. It's so good. It brings back memories. Oh, but she's from here. She's from the, there's a penguin there. Is she from like Antarctica? Where is she from? Brings back memories of what? What is this history? I need to know. Is there a novel I can read? Getting grades is always so stressful, even when you know you've done well. Hey. And it's even worse when... A plus. There are many more questions on this prep review than will be on your test. There's so much effort put into this test. They must have just like actually found just a test online. Someone want to do the math for me? Figure out if it's actually 72. I just don't think you can get it A plus if that question's wrong. It's 48.3. 48.3? Enough people have said 48.3 that I'm that I'm willing to go with it. This is just a prep test. There's probably only like six or seven questions. She can't be getting an A plus if she got the first question wrong. I'm starting to think these videos might not even be real. It goes worse than expected. She got an F. At least she didn't, like, circle 48.3 then. An F? <laughs> you changed- Hey, we got some sauna action here. We have, like, a proper Lulu bucket. They're hitting themselves with the sticks. This is some good finished stuff. You just need to get a little bit more naked and, uh, then good. <laughs> 
Swap me my inner thought, am I right? Good to see some proper Finnish representation in media. Just get naked, all right? I, I, you got like a full t-shirt on. I thought that was a Russian thing. I'll, uh, I'll let you off with a warning. Not sure if your classmates like such a hot climate. <sighs> Oops. She can make an instant sauna. That's pretty sweet. Being able to just like, bam, sauna. That, it raises a lot of questions though. It's not that she can only just make things hotter. She can also like introduce humidity somehow. There's water involved in this. <laughs> that shoulder cam though. <laughs> just that random close up of the shoulder. <laughs> Why? But listen, if you're gonna take a sauna, you gotta get those clothes off. It ain't right. This is a public space. Fine. If you gotta, you can have some, you know, some bathers on or something. But getting in a sauna in, in, in a full t-shirt, this ain't right. We don't need to know about your experiences in saunas. My experience, it's what a sauna is. <laughs> A sauna is a naked experience. Not my experience. It's the experience. Got to educate yourself. You can always wear a swimsuit. You cannot always wear a swimsuit. <laughs> you cannot. I get it. There are saunas you can go to. Why are you so passionate about saunas? All in swarmer lighting. <laughs> You can't ask someone of Finnish descent why they're so passionate about saunas. You can't do that. Would you ask a Russian if why they're so passionate about vodka? Would you? No, it's just, it's... <laughs> Lisa Lou. <laughs> what I was saying was, if you want to get in a sauna with your swimsuit on, fine. Particularly if it's a public sauna and that's what they require you to do. I'm just saying, the proper way to experience a sauna, majority of saunas in Finland will require you to be naked. I mean, I've done it. I've, I've been in a sauna in my bathers before, in my board shorts. I have done it, obviously. Sometimes the situation calls for that particularly in Australia, when, you, when you're in an Australian sauna scenario, you just can't always be getting around naked. It's a legitimate cultural thing. He's not actually upset that these actors aren't naked. I mean, I'm, I'm doing a bit, like it is a joke. <laughs> But it's also not like if you're gonna, you know, if you want the proper finished sort of experience, you gotta get naked. Like that's, that's not a joke. My only point is that this is not an opinion. <laughs> this is a fact. It's not that weird. <laughs> that's enough sort of talk. An F for me? The queen of cold calculation? Uh-oh. I told you she's a danger to everyone around her and she needs to be stopped. She's not even meaning to and she's accidentally freezing people solid. I got a snowball on my lap. Hey, Brandon, watch it. What? Hey, Kaboomers, wasn't that a lot of fun? Hey, Kaboomers, wasn't that a lot of fun? Oh, look at them partying in the sauna, having their sauna party. Hot girl after the video be like, ah, it's hot. The cold girl after the video be like, brr, it's so cold. Me. <laughs> okay, Boomers, let me know in the comments below. Are you hot or are you cold or are you a Boomer? And get some of the sweet lemon cotton merch in the description below. It's pretty cute. It's got a little lemon cotton on it. Just make sure to not wear it in the sauna. And come and join me over at twitch.tv forward slash join and button on Twitch, where I stream these videos live every single weekday at 1 p.m. my time. Australian time, my Melbourne-ish Australian time. You can figure that out yourself. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time. <laughs> Watching my video, but now that it's done, please watch another one while you're jamming out to this vibe. Please join the tribe, just comment, like, and subscribe.